in the word of God that I absolutely love, and it's but. I love buts. Turn to the person next to you and say, I love buts. I'm just messing with you. <laughs> but I love, I seriously, I do. I love buts in the word of God. I love the buts that are in the word of God. It's going to make you laugh because I'm going to say it a few times. You're going to remember this message. I love it because what it means is that God's painted the picture or the, 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 the story has been told and it's looking bleak. It's not looking so great, but. It's not looking so brilliant, but. You know, let's think about the word of God. You know, um, the Israelites, they're at the sea, is in front of them. There's no way across. Behind them is an army of angry Egyptians ready to slaughter them. There's no way out, but God made a way. Amen? You're alive this morning. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> And then there's, like, Lazarus. We spoke about this a couple of weeks ago, but Lazarus, you've got, you've got his family. It's, it's finished. He's, he's, he's wrapped in grave clothes. He's pushed into the tomb. The stone is rolled across. He is dead. He's had the certificate. The certificate says he's done. But Jesus is on his way. Amen? Amen. But Jesus is on his way, and he's standing outside the tomb, and he's saying... What are you doing? Sleeping. Get out. Come out. You see, the Israelites were facing defeat. There was a giant who was beating and slaughtering and killing everything in his path. And nothing was working. Nobody wanted to fight him. Nobody wanted to try and take it on. There was no faith. It had failed. But... God sent someone with some sandwiches for his brothers. And he says, what is this? Who is this in front of me? Who is this uncircumcised Philistine? What is he to God? Nothing. Bang. He's down. You see, it's done. When it looks like it's over, there's a but. I love buts. You love buts too? Amen. Amen. 